Mike from Rage Break Gaming, and it's time to follow the wind. Well, let's play Golden Sun, The Lost Age. Welcome back, guys. Last time we explored the exterior of Eris Rock. Now we are in the interior of Eris Rock. And oh my god, do we have some annoying puzzles in store for us today. We're still in search of that mysterious synergy that allows us to see the unseen. So let's see if we can um, get to that today. We got a little... um log and poundstone pillar puzzle here so let's see if I can solve this one all right let's see pound the rights of the two pillars all right yoink all right pound that one like so next let's see move the rightmost stump on the freshly moved tile okay there you go yeah viewers follow everything I'm doing so I even have to look at my fucking notes just for this holy cow Practice makes perfect. All right, now let's see. Um, on the left-hand side, push the southwest stump two tiles. Let's wait a minute. Oh, uh, viewers, you know I'm bad at directions, right? <laughs> oh God damn. Okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. Push the southwest. Okay, okay, this one. So two tiles east. One, two, and one north. Uh, there you go. This should allow us to... Okay, let's see if that works then. Alright, hopefully this works. Uh... Alright. Yoink! Ah! Perfect! Alright, that'll do. Yeah, just do what I did, viewers, because that one has always caused me some issues in the past. Not this time, though, thanks to sexy notes. Whirlwind! Yoink! There you go. Nice. Now we can get over there. But we're not done yet. So, yeah, not by a long shot. Alright, here. Don't step on that other pound pillar. Because otherwise you'll just push that thing up. You don't want to do that just yet. Instead, what you want to do, climb up here. Go behind the windstone. And... Swirl wind again. Yoink! Booyah! There you go. Now we can proceed. God damn. <laughs> like I said, that puzzle has given me some trouble in the past, but thousands of playthroughs later and I finally get it. Thanks in part to my notes too, of course. Without my notes, I wouldn't be able to get through it anyway, because you know, you know my memory sucks. So even if I play the game a thousand times, there are some things that even me, a well-known video game scholar, would forget. So they go. And so and, and video game Scala is self-proclaimed, by the way. I uh, so just so you know. Get the fuck out of here! Blue Mace! Hurricane! Yeah! Damn! Not bad. They don't call it Storm Brand for nothing. Cause it, cause it creates a literal storm. Get it? <laughs> Laugh it up, viewers. Damn. No no, no I'm just kidding. Alright. Went through there. Let's see. Pillars should be right there. Perfect. All right. Now we can proceed through here. And before I do, I might want to actually put on one of my sacred feathers. Let's see. No, no. Dumbass. Me, that is viewers, not you. Did you think I meant you? No. <laughs> Otherwise, the net though. All right. Let me check my map. Luckily, I have a very detailed map because Eris Mace, or er, Eris Mace, <laughs> Eris Rock's interior is a literal maze. And oh yeah, just like those steam vents back in the Kandorian Temple ruins, yeah, don't go up there. Otherwise, the, the steam will just knock you back down, so it ain't worth the trouble. Now, if you look down here, there's a summon tablet down there. Now, that one is a little bit difficult to get to but we'll get through it or rather we'll get to it and get through it what you want to do set move to quick move this bitch out the way there you go now we can come over here all right check my map let's see there are some other vents over here let me check over here first though Ah, okay. Now, viewers, this log right here is instrumental in order to get to that summon tablet. What you want to do, move this, this stone pillar once. Just once. That should be enough. 
Uh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, that is enough. At least, I hope so. You know what? No, 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 it, it is, because the wind needs to have a direct path to this. Okay, okay, good. Never mind. Carry on. Alright, moving on then. Why, I just put the damn thing on. Uh, whatever. Luckily, the enemies here aren't even fucking hard. It's just, the encounter rate is fucking annoying! Like those emus, for example. Very annoying. Very annoying. Very fucking annoying. Yoink! There you go. Move that bitch out the way. Ash. Hmm. Ah, now I get it. Alright. Yoink! Move that over back there so that way we can get across. You see, viewers? Yeah, cool, isn't it? Alright, not done yet, though. Yep, there's our windstone. We just have to get around to it. The question is, how do we do so? Well, where there is a will, my dear viewers, there is a way. Push this over here. Nice. Alright. Now, viewers, everything I'm doing is very, very delicate. So, do your best not to fuck this up if you can. Because otherwise you'll be in here solving this puzzle for a long time. And quite honestly, you don't want that. Not in this place. This dungeon is annoyingly long. I'm trying to make this as short as I can, but, you know, you, I can only do so much for you. So, I'll do my best, of course. Of course, my dear viewers, but, you know, I'll try to, do, I'll try to go fast. But, you know, there's other factors at play here. Like, oh, I don't know, random encounters? So, you know, there's that. Alright, now. Can I do this from here? Hmm, let's see. Whirlwind! Nope, I figured. <laughs> and I can't jump over there either. The only way to, the only way to activate this, um, the, the, um, only way to get to this is to utilize this MOA statue here. But, how exactly do we do that? Alright viewers, I'm back! On screen, I got into a random battle, and Sheba gained the level and learned a new synergy spell! She learned Bind! Very, very useful! Binds the foe's synergy! Very, very nice! Alright, so now that we push the pillar into that bottom slot over there... Uh, don't worry about that for now, we'll be coming back there. Now, when we do move, um, move that, um, or activate that MOA statue up there, to the top um it'll blow the stone pillar over here which will allow us to gain access to the um you know it allows to gain access to the summon tablet so for now though let's see if we can find a way to actually activate that little moa head there hmm. looks like there's something in the center here down that shaft keep that in mind for later viewers not that there's anything we can do about that right now but, well, it's there. But in any case, we got more windstones. Like you can never have enough. World went to quick. Blow that ass! Blow down! There you go. The trademark to blaze down. Blow down! It's like bro down, but, you know, you're being blown. Uh, you know what? Never mind. That was, that, viewers, that was total fail. I am so sorry for that. I'll work on it, and I'll get back. Alright, uh, oh, come on. These sacred feathers are just as worthless as a level 1 repel in Pokemon. Like, seriously, it doesn't last long enough! Ah! There you go. Alright, yeah, you want to move that, that log back down there so that way we can activate the, um, that windstone over there. Alright, so let's see here. This dungeon is fucking annoying. But once we get through it, once we get through it, it'll it'll be so much simpler to manage. Alright, let's see. We go this way, that's a dead end, so let's not. And we got some new enemy. Well, actually, we fought these guys already. Fuck them. Uh, move, people! I want to actually run. Thank you, I don't got time for trash. I got shit to do. That doesn't involve dealing with trash, that is. So, there you go. Yoink! There you go. Thank you. Oh, boy. I do have a no encounters code, by the way. So I could, in theory, put that on to reduce the random encounter rate. But, 
I'm trying really hard not to really use it. I mean, I only really use it for dungeons that are like terribly long. But in all honesty, I would rather not have to use it. But, you know, if times are tough, then yeah. <laughs> It might, it might end up getting to that point for all we know. Alright, gotta get back to that log now. Go forward. There we go. Alright, now then. Gotta get back over there. Don't hit that windstone, by the way. Not yet. Get out of my way! Uh, those emus are so fucking annoying. Alright, uh... Wait a minute, what the fuck am I doing? Go back! Dumbass. I forgot, like, the path is, like, right there! <laughs> oh, wow. Just goes to show, like, if you don't play for a while and shit like that, you tend to forget the most basic of information. That just goes, that just goes to show, play, and play often. Alright, now then, go down, check my notes again. Alright, there is a treasure chest in this area. Let's go and get that and run from these enemies. Again. Uh, you know what? Fuck them. Yeah, get them out the way. The trash! Damn. <sighs> Steady as she goes, Mike. Steady as she goes. Because over here we get an elixir. Really? You're literally giving me an elixir. Shit that we can buy from a shop that we barely need to use anyway, and you're giving us an elixir in this long ass dungeon? That is the equivalent of putting one kill in the chest in a Final Fantasy game. In an early Final Fantasy game at that. That was the most shittiest thing ever. Like, literally. Viewers, you remember the early Final Fantasy games, right? In which, you know, like Final Fantasy 1, for example. Uh, there was like a couple dungeons in the game in which you'd only have like one fucking like a treasure chest with one fucking kill on it. Like, come on! That is a dick move. Was there anything up here? No. Okay. Just want to check because my memory is a fail, so I just want to make sure everything's okay. It's all good. All right. There you go. Man. <sighs> Almost done though, viewers. We're halfway through the we're halfway through this dungeon of horrors. So bear with me. Blow it down. Yeah. I I think there is a You know what, never mind. I was about to say there's another treasure chest in here, but you know, my memory's kinda screwy. Alright. Forward. There you go. You, you Feels I need you to go a little bit faster, my dude. No offense, but I, I kind of want to get through this dungeon today. If at all possible, that is. Alright, let's see here. Let me check my notes real quick, viewers. Oh, okay, so that... Okay, that just loops around. Alright, good, good. I want to check my notes. So check that here. Alright, perfect. Sorry about the viewers. Yeah, this... Like I said, long dungeon. Big map. But very detailed map. So I need to make sure I know what the fuck to do, and where the fuck I'm going. So, yeah. Get used to this, because just like how I did it in my Golden Sun 1 LP, I'm going to be taking time to look on my map and stuff like that, so that way I don't get lost guiding you through this place. So, if you don't like me taking the time to look at my map to guide you through, uh, why are you watching? So, I mean, come on. You do the same thing, too! Honestly, I mean, I seriously doubt that, like even if you played this game before I seriously doubt you had the whole dungeon map memorized in your head unless you have like a stellar ass fucking memory But even then But over here we get a synergy or well, we check a synergy stone just like the first game you can restore your PP to full with that So there you go Yeah, very nice didn't need it, but it's there All right Uh. Oh wait, let me check my notes. Let's see, we went through here. Wait a minute. I did go the right way, didn't I? Oh god damn. Oh okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh wow. Actually Oh Oh okay, okay, never mind. 
We're good! We're good! Ah, uh, let's see what I'm here. Oh, it's another windstone. Let's activate it. Who won it? Yoink! What? Whoa! Oh, so that's how it works. Cool. Whoa! Stop the ride! I want to get off! Whoa! Nuts. Whoa! Oh. Oh. <laughs> Yoink! Just like down here. Booyah! Ah, so that's how it works. Okay, so basically we just activate the giant mower heads and they will, you know, unlock the bigger mower heads. Clever, isn't it, viewers? Now we can move this on um, the stone pillar here. All right, let's see here. That will guide us back up here. Uh, now that the wind is start, actually no, let's not go down here. I was about to slide down here for some fucking reason. Can I run from this battle? Thanks, thanks, bro. Yeah, I was about to say let's not go down there. Let's actually come over here. All right, there's a treasure chest over there that I want to get as well. So let's go and get that first. All right, come. Oh, actually, wait a minute. Yeah, let me move this just a little bit. Uh, let's not use whirlwind on it, Felix. Kind of need to move it, my bro. There you go. And a boy. All right. Ah, there you go. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Booyah! Whoa! Ow! Quit it. Knocked me right to a random battle. Wow, classic. These random encounters are starting to piss me off. Don't worry, if you're, this is really the only dungeon in the game that the random encounters are just, like, extremely annoying. Like, like... Like, come on! It's a long-ass dungeon as it is. As it is. Just give me a break! <laughs> Leave Brittany alone! No, no. <laughs> no. Alright, otherwise than that, though, alright, we got that settled. It's like we're gonna have to backtrack, unfortunately. So, yeah, that has to be done. Yay, I'm so looking forward to that. But luckily though, since we did um, unlock that, that should lead us back to... Is it that room or... Oh, okay, okay, so we went to the right side. Oh, okay, so we went to the right side um, yesterday. Or, not yesterday, last week. All right, whoa! But yeah, if you recall, these weren't working earlier. Now they are. Huh? Huh? And... Go! Whee! <laughs> cool. Wait for it! There you go. Yeah, I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have did that, but, you know, the kid in me just wanted, just wanted to do it. Ah, there you go. Alright, now we push that down. I wonder, do I have to ride it again? Yes, I do! Alright, go in here. Get into a random battle that I will run from. That I will run from! Thank you. Dick. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. Went to the shaft. Here. Alright. Alright, now let's... I don't remember if I set moved it quick, but let me do that anyway. Alright, now here's the annoying part. There is a treasure chest in here. And there is also, well, the exit, of course. Basically, I want to get the treasure chest first, so... Forward! Alright, stop there. That that should take us across. Hopefully. Whee! Yes! Perfect! In this chest, we get... The Clarity Circlet! Nice! See, the Clarity Circlet raises wind power. Obviously, you're going to be giving that to Shiva, I hope. What do you mean you're not giving it to Shiva? Well, you suck. No, no, I'm just kidding. But seriously, you might want to get that Chiba. Um, I don't know, races wind power, so... I don't know, I don't think Felix could benefit from that, and he doesn't look good with it anyway. Um, Jenna, on the other hand, it's 
it doesn't even work for her either, so, yeah. Needless to say, the only person you're going to be giving that shit to is obviously going to be Sheba. So, I mean, we don't really have to debate this anymore, do we? I, I hope not. Alright, now, let's go down here. Forward! There you go. Thank you! Uh, you know what? You know what? Just die! Thanks. But once the enemies do as I say. So... Yeah, good on them. Alright, push that down. That'll be needed to go back across. Alright, down here there's an air vent. Don't go down there just yet. And you know what? Before I start freaking out for the next random encounter, Sacred Feather. Now that I think about it, um... Yeah, Jenna, take off that trainer's whip, girl. What synergy does she have again? Uh, it's not the synergy I was looking for. Let me see. Someone had the, um... Was it, oh, was it a void? Yes, perfect. Okay, there you go. Yeah, sorry about that, viewers. I just wanted to make sure, like, we need the avoid synergy, at least for now. I don't feel like cutting the clip and then putting on my no encounters code and shit like that and then redoing the, and then reopening the clip again. It, that's very annoying and it will save me less time editing doing so. So, yeah, let's not do that if we can avoid it. Alright, move that log! Whoa! Hot! Shit. <laughs> hot flash. No. Alright, we moved that out the way. Now we can actually get across now. Oh boy. Let's forward! There you go. Thank you, GBA emulator. Alright, now then. Let's see, go down. Okay, we're back in the room with the, um, huge, um, the whole bunch of fucking windstones and shit. Yay! Luckily, we got a void now, so we can avoid my enemies and use it as a shortcut without having to go all the way to the fucking, um, um, item selection just to use those fucking sacred feathers that don't last long anyway. So, just like the first game, they're very deficient. Useful, but deficient. Just like all good hold items or battle items. Well, not, actually, not hold items, what the fuck am I talking about? Battle items more so than hold items. Hold items are actually pretty good. So, there you go. Yoink! Like the life orb in, in Gens 5 and 6 of, of, of Pokemon. Oh, yes, that life orb. I mean, you sacrifice, you, you make yourself a bit more vulnerable, though. But the upside is that you're dealing more fucking damage. So, take what you can get, I guess. Maybe? Huh. Whatever. <laughs> but in any case... Huh. Is there nothing down here? Hmm. That's odd. Now, I, I don't know what this treasure chest is. This one has always kind of eluded me for some odd fucking reason. Hmm. I think there... Actually, wait a minute. Not if memory serves, there might be a way to get to that, but not the way I'm thinking of. Let's go over here. Uh, no. Okay, never mind then. I was hoping for a hidden passage. Whoa! <laughs> but yeah, I guess that ain't happening, huh? Oh well. Well, not that it's a big deal. I seriously doubt that's anything useful anyway. In fact, to be safe, let me check my notes. I, oh, okay, now that I think about it, that's, I think that might be a side crystal. If not, that's 666 coins. <laughs> Get it? 666 coins. Yes. Yes, you heard me right, viewers. 666 coins. Whoa, whoa! Okay, I guess we're not going that way. <laughs> yeah, let's not. All right, over here we get another vial. Yay! Why are they giving us all these vials when we don't have the HP to make them useful right now? Just a little afterthought, game. I'm just, you know, I'm curious. 
why would you give us, like, items that can restore 500 HP when nobody in the party has 500 HP to utilize it right now? I mean, they will be useful later on in the game, obviously, but come on, that, that, that makes no sense to me. Where's the, what's the logic in that? They did that in the first game, too, now that I think about it. Huh, whatever. That's just me rambling at that at this point, viewers, so I hope you can forgive me for that. Alright, otherwise than that, though... Are we almost out of this shitty-ass dungeon? I hope so. I know, I still, need, I still need to get to that summon tablet, too. What's up here? Oh, I see. Hmm. So I guess the other mower head takes us back over. Okay, okay, never mind then. Forward! There you go. Alright! Finally almost out of here! Yes! Oh, thank Arceus! Okay, so let's get this mysterious synergy that we couldn't get before. Or, or rather, get the synergy that we came all the way here for. What is this? Mike, check the tablet. There's strange characters written on it. Wielder of Wind's Might, lay your hands upon the stone. We bestow upon thee the power to see the truth unclouded. Wind user? You think I ought to touch it? Uh, why not, Shiba? You're the only wind user in the party. Go for it. Alright, let's see what she gets. Whoa! She get it? Yay! What? Reveal? Wait a minute! We came all this way for reveal? Are you serious? Wow! Okay then! <laughs> yeah, viewers, if you don't recall, reveal, just like in the first game with Ivan, um, it allows you to see hidden paths or secret passages, you know, shit like that. Which is needed in order to get the fuck out of this room, for example. Set reveal to quick. Yoink! See? You can find a hidden um, um, platform right there. Come over here, you can get a side crystal. Okay, so that chest that, that we didn't get was, that must have been the 66 coin, um, or 666 coins. So, there you go. Alright, forward. There you go. Alright, now we're going to have to use it again to get out of this part. Yoink! Ah, perfect. Alright, now we have to go back and get that summon tablet. We're basically done with the dungeon now, but I still want to get that summon tablet, so I will meet you guys in that room. Um, if you don't know where it is, just backtrack, just watch earlier in the episode. Be right back. Alright viewers, I'm back. Now, we're back a couple screens past. Now, you remember that treasure chest that we couldn't get earlier? Basically, use whirlwinds on that windstone there. You can use the Windstone's Whirlwind to go and knock that Moa head over there. Yeah, the treasure chest that we couldn't get earlier, and the one that's eluded me for so many years. I just randomly came over here and moved the Windstone. And over here we get the money that I knew that we were going to get. Yeah, we got the Mark of the Beast. So there you go. Alright, now, to that summon talent. Alright, viewers, I'm back. We're back in the room with the mower head and the wind tablet. Now, viewers, like I said, if you need a refresher on how to get back to this room, check back earlier in the episode. I showed you how to get here anyway. So, hope you've been watching. Otherwise than that, though, back here, now that we activated the little mower head, use whirlwinds. Yoink! Push that log down there, baby. All right. Nice. Now that we got the, um... You know what? We're all, we're we're practically done the dungeon, so screw the trash. I'm not bothering with them, so fuck off. All right, but yeah, now that we moved that log, it's all the way down there now. And what we gotta do now is actually get to where it is, which is simple enough. Ah, perfect. All right, now once the log is down here, push it all the way down here, and ta-da! Yes, we can get to the summon tablet now. Let's see which one it is. More ancient hieroglyphs going into my head. And we get Flora. Nice. 
In order to summon Flora, you need two Jupiter Degens and two Venus Degens in standby mode in order to use them. So, there you go. Flora is actually pretty cool. So, I recommend that you give her summon a try. Otherwise, than that, though, we are finally done. Let's get the fuck out of this dungeon. Ah! Oh! Thank Arceus, we are done. This was probably the most annoying one in the game. There are three more of these kind of dungeons, though, by the way. And unfortunately, you need to use... I didn't mean to use Avoid. You need to use Retreat, like, twice just to get out of here. I'll try and get that Fujin Shield that I missed over there off-screen. It's not that important anyway, but I'll get it off-screen. I showed you guys how to get to it anyway. So, there you go. Otherwise than that, though, viewers, we are finally done Air's Rock, and now that we have Reveal, we can now reveal and see hidden things. How about we head on back to Gora and solve the mystery of those werewolves? Next time! If you guys enjoy it, you know what to do. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel for more gaming vids for me. Hit the bell to so be notified whenever I upload new stuff on YouTube. Got something to say? Leave a comment. So next time, dudes do this. This is Mike from Rage Break Gaming. I hope your rage breaks. Have a great day. Smell you later.